and start op opening up the uh, opening statement from Coach Beard, and we'll take questions for Kyle Wakefield, followed by questions for Coach. Yeah, we got about 700 calls uh, at the office yesterday trying to get access to the man to my left. So from an efficiency standpoint, we'll just put him here in front of you. But um, this is Kyle Wakefield, one of our student managers, does a great job for us. Um, obviously, we were blessed when getting this job because we inherited some really talented people, including players, staff members, administrators. But uh, Wake's at the top of that list of guys that we were blessed to come here. And uh, he was already at Ole Miss. Coach Davis gave him an opportunity, and we certainly – it uh, didn't take us long to understand we had greatness here. Um, I know uh, Wake's family well because his brother Cole uh, was on our coaching staff at Texas Tech when we were building that program, and he's currently an assistant coach. His brother is at Lafayette working for one of the best coaches in our business, Bob Marlin. Um, but Wake here is special. Um, everybody sees it on game night, but we see it every minute of every day. So I tell the players all the time, like, the motivation – to be great um, is right in front of you. You know, like we all love to go see a really good movie that makes you feel good when you walk away. We love the stuff on social media. Uh, we love to read a good book, but try to explain to players like all that stuff's right in front of you. So certainly in our program, you know, whether it be John Riley's competitiveness, uh, Wes Flanagan's toughness, you know, Al Pinkins' poise, uh, Elliot's work ethic, um, Bob's bluntness and relationships and truth telling um, you know all these intangibles are right in front of you every day so we encourage our players to see that and let people inspire you and then wakes at the top of that list he inspires us all you know every single day so, um, never in a bad mood his work ethic is unquestionable uh, he impacts winning and some people kind of smile about that but you know it's an organization that wins it's five players on the floor at one time seven or eight players on the bench waiting to get in and there's coaches, there's, um, there's student managers, there's assistant coaches, and, and Wake is elite at what he does. So we are blessed to have him at Ole Miss. And um, instead of getting another 700 phone calls today at the office, we, we thought we'd put the man right in front of you. Questions for Kyle. Kyle, what have the last few days been like for you? The last few days have been like for me is just, I'm just so thankful to be here. I love Ole Miss. I love the University of Mississippi. I love this school and I love this team. I'd like to thank Coach Kermit Davis for giving me a first opportunity for being here at Ole Miss Basketball and then Coach Beard having an opportunity to work for him and keeping me on the staff. And it's just been a wild ride and I've really enjoyed it and I love Ole Miss Basketball. I gotta ask now, when did you find out that the clip had, had gone viral and what was that specific situation that the ref asked you to do there? So the referee, he asked me to come over and clean up the spot, but I thought it was just a sweat spot normally. So I'd normally get that with the mop, but I, as soon as I got over there, I was like, I better go get these towels and really get the job done. So I just went over, grabbed the towels, it was just, I just had to wipe the spot up as just quick as possible so we can get the game back on track to, to impact the win. So, According to the commentators on TV, they said you were stretching before the game. Uh, when did that kind of routine kind of get going? I've always had that routine ever since I started working here. I've always had like a pregame ritual that I've always followed for four years now. I mean, it just seems to work for me every time. And it really just impacts winning, and that's what I'm here to do. I really want to win, and I want to be a part of a winning organization. Can we ask what that ritual is? The ritual, it's – so I, I sit in, like, the same spot at pregame meal. Like, I sit at the same spot, ate the same thing, and I always have the same choice of beverage, which is a Coke, <laughs> right before the game. We arrived here, you talked about you know having people in the organization and have a love of the game. For you personally, where did the love of the game of basketball come from? Just really my whole life, like knowing two coaches growing up, going to watch their games. I've really just had a passion for college basketball, and I, it's just I've just been around it my whole entire life. You, you got up from cleaning the floor, and you stand up, and it's the biggest crowd in SG uh, in, in Pavilion history. What's going through your head as you're running off and hearing everybody? getting the crowd pumped up what was going through my head was that 
I'm really not being out there just for me. I'm being out there for my whole entire organization, for like my coaches, players, other student managers. Like my goal was really to just open up the door for other student managers besides myself. Like I said beforehand, I'm not in this for me. I'm here for this whole entire organization and the whole entire university. How long did it take for your phone to start blowing up? Really, after the game, probably during the game, but after the game, I cleaned up the bench, everything like that, and then I checked my phone and everything's just blowing up. So it's, it was a crazy ride, but I'm just so thankful to be here and have a part of this great experience of my life. Kind of, uh, yeah, kind of noticed this last year when you were kind of on this end of the court in front of us, but you seem to have energy level that maybe even some of the spirit teams don't have, like you're a higher level. Then where does that enthusiasm, energy, and you know, pumping up the crowd, part of the, the chants and all that, where, where does that come from for 44 minutes? It really just comes from my heart. Like I really just want to get out there and just do the best possible job I can, and I just want to impact winning as best as I possibly can. If my job is to just fire up that crowd to win a ball game, I'll be the one that does it. Obviously, the crowd feeds off you. How much do you feed off the crowd in moments like that? Honestly, I really feed off of them. The more they feed me, the more I bring. And I'm already so intense as it is. And it's just, it was just an amazing feeling going out there and just being out there for the players and even like the players feed off of my energy. They see me working hard down there and I'm really just there for them and I want them to have a clean floor to play on and that I take a lot of pride in that. Now, did your major background kind of start in high school or where did it kind of spawn from? It really started when Coach Kermit Davis, as I was coming to school here and Coach Davis is like, hey, why don't you come be one of my student managers? and. It really just started from that point on, and I really love this business. I really love this team, and I love this school, and I'm here for Coach Beard and his great staff and what we're building here. It's just an amazing ride. What year was that that you started? In 2020, my freshman year of college. My question for Kyle, and, uh, where are you from originally? Katy, Texas. Let's get it all out, fellas. <laughs> We got to get back to basketball at some point. So, um, yes, ma'am. What? What year? I'm a senior now. Um, so what? What happens after this? Where do you, where do you go from? From all? I I really don't. Graduating in, in May. No, ma'am. I'm actually taking a five year plan. So I I wanted to take my time to get my degree and. Hopefully, just go on and just win in life, no matter what I do. I really haven't decided what I want to do yet, but I really want to stay involved in sports and just really just put my foot in the door into the sports world. So I just want to impact winning for my life. So sorry, five, five year plan, smart. Yes, sir. <laughs> Another year, Oxford. Yes, sir. More time at Funky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry if I missed it. Uh, what are you majoring in? Journalism. Who's your favorite musician? My favorite musician's George Strait. Being from Texas, he's great. What's your favorite meal? Favorite meal? Definitely, definitely pizza from Funky's for sure. <laughs> Who do you like more, your mom or your dad? Like them both the same. Coach, I'd like to also give a shout out to my mom, Brandy, and my dad, Glenn, and all the family back home and Katie. Who's tougher, you or your brother? I think both of us have our strengths and weaknesses, Coach. I, I think we both have a really strong work ethic, and I really think we both have our strengths and our weaknesses at the same time. Is this uh, last couple hours, does it help the social life a little bit? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah. Any other questions? We try to get this done today. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Coach. See you, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, y'all.